Do you believe Breaking Bad premiered 10 years ago? No. Is that crazy? It's insane. It doesn't make sense. It feels like Ten just years. yesterday. No. Yeah. And you, wild. Uh, you just found out that Drake was a giant Breaking Bad fan. Yeah. I mean, he, um, we randomly met uh, in Paris in a parking garage. I just got out of my car. <laughs> And he was, this is so as perfect. one would. As um, one does, yeah. yeah. And uh, he was just with a bunch of people getting ready to get into a van. I'm like, oh, my God, there's Drake. And then he just looks at me and just runs over and just gives me the biggest hug and told me that he loved me and I love him. Yeah. Wow. It was great. It was, a, it was a good moment between us. That's so us. cool. Yeah. But then it didn't end there. No. It, it got even crazier. It did a little bit. And he told me that he got uh, Rihanna into the show. Yeah. Which I, I love Rihanna. I love Rihanna too. Who doesn't love I mean, Rihanna? Who doesn't love Rihanna? I love Rihanna. Yeah. Um, and then Rihanna was driving by the same me. Parking garage? No, no, dif different, different <laughs> parking hot, garage. It's a happening um, parking no, garage. No, uh, I was just at some event and an SUV was driving by me and it stops and the back door opens and it's Rihanna and she jumps out and I'm like, oh my God, there's Rihanna and then she just starts. Literally running towards me. I'm like, she can't be running towards me. You know? And then she threw her arms around me and said, I had to meet you. I needed proof of this. And then paparazzi took some pictures of us. And my life was, was made. Yeah. You know, my wife was so happy for me. But then she, she tweeted out a picture. Yeah, she, oh yeah, she. With a picture of you, and she said, my life has been completed. Yeah. Hashtag Pinkman for president. I mean, how cool is that? It made me feel really good, you know? It's got to make you feel good, but then yeah. the story yeah. gets crazier. Yeah, I just keep running into Rihanna, this you know? <laughs> and the, ne the next time I, I saw her was at this Super Bowl party that she was performing at, and she walks to the end of the catwalk, and uh, I was on the second level of this small little, um, little venue, and then she starts singing Stay directly to me. <laughs> and... She just does not, like, lose eye contact with me. And my wife is standing right next to me. She's like, she's singing to you. I'm like, I know. <laughs> and so, I mean, maybe she was just looking in my general direction. But the story I tell is that she sang, she sang to me. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, 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 mean, I, buy, I buy it. Yeah, I, I buy, buy it. it. I buy it. I buy the story totally. Uh, yeah. Congrats on the path. Uh, that's a really good, uh, tricky series. Uh, what is happening this season now? Uh, this season, so uh, the path is all about a uh, very controversial religious movement. Um, I am now leading the movement, and some some secrets are revealed that the founder of our movement had some uh, really dark things happening within his life. So he's a very very bad man, and I'm just struggling to kind of keep things together. Yeah, I love it. Here's a clip. Here's Aaron Paul on, in the path. Take a look. Is that why you asked me to meet you? To find out if I believe again? No, I asked you to meet me because I need you. Whatever I do next, I want you there. I hounded you. I doubted you, and I almost got you killed. No, you didn't almost get me killed. I don't know what I would have done. All right, if I, if I came home and, and I lost you. Then don't. Don't lose me. Stand by me. Aaron Paul, everybody! Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.